she's coming out, she's coming out, she's coming out. It's there. Oh. Hello, and uh, because of a ton of different requests, uh, I am going to be going back and doing more RTS tutorials. Uh, so just think of that time off as just that kind of a break. Um, does get a little tiring working on the exact same engine for so long. Um, I was planning on doing this like a couple weeks ago, but Windows 7 kind of screwed up Camtasia. It has rendering problems, so I had to fix that up first. That took a little while. Um, but other than that, so we're back up and running again. Um, a request was made uh, just last night or this morning, I don't really know anymore, um, to do different stages and be able to uh, go through them. Now, uh, what I interpreted that as was a level select screen, which I made, and uh, the next two episodes are going to kind of go together. That's cool. Um, this part is going to show you how to make a menu level select screen as well as how to make it easy to make extra maps. Uh, one thing I did was I took our free play and I duplicated it and I named it template and what template is everything but up here uh, let's see you have the tracker fuel, drag control, tracker or stop, the GUI and everything set up and then scrolling those objects are set up and nothing else is and I named this room template because what we can do now is right click template and say duplicate and now we have a room with everything necessary to set up now we just go straight into map making and to delete a room you do shift delete after it's clicked and selected then you can delete it so uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you uh, the level select screen how to set it up what you need to do to get that and then we'll make a level from template so that way we have two levels so I'm actually going to do everything from scratch um, first step is to make a sprite. Uh, you see we have one here. Uh, it's just a blue shaded box with a green number in it. You can do any color, you can do any sprite, you can do any shape, it doesn't matter. But uh, you should uh, you should uh, have a number and uh, it shouldn't be too big of a box. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, go into here, color, and if you keep your font settings the same, uh, you'll be able to do, it'll stay the same when you go into do another image, so that way they come out identical, that's always good to know. Uh, so we just make that sprite. Now we need to make a uh, background, I just did uh, 256 by 256, it wasn't necessary. Uh, I'm actually going to be resizing the canvas, I think height can go down to 64, but just, oh crap, uh, I actually, I guess I have to stay it like that, but, uh, 256 by 256 is normally good for text, I do it out of habit, uh, somewhere around there should be good, uh, depending on your font, with a size 20 font, 256 wide was enough, but you don't have to put that message, I did select a stage to play, you can do select a mission, select a campaign mission, etc., um, and uh, what we do with that is uh, we'll put it on so just to have the user know what they're doing and uh, we only need one object I put it under GUI just level select and we just say when left released or when left pressed actually um, uh, we have room underscore go to level underscore one and that's what I renamed our uh, room free play and then you have to go into play and edit this so when it's left pressed we have room underscore go to and in parentheses level select now, uh, you will not have a room called Level Select yet. That's what we're going to be making now. Uh, I took uh, my main menu and duplicated it and just took out all the objects and re-put Quit in there uh, at a different place. Or maybe I should keep it in the same to make it flow a little bit nicer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so there's seven spaces. I'm going to make sure this looks nice. One, two, three... Uh, quick, quick, quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. It's over a little bit more. Okay, that looks about right. Then I put in my stage. 
I'm also going to go into GUI and put, oh wait, I didn't make the object yet. So uh, once you have um, select stage 1, uh, in order to put more rooms in, what you have to do is uh, duplicate it, call it level select, uh, level select 2. And then in the code here, just replace level underscore 1 with level underscore 2. Keep everything simple. You just have to change a couple numbers. And uh, then what we do is we take template, and we duplicate template. And we go ahead and we just take our um, uh, buildings or whatever. We can give them buildings. We can uh, put rocks everywhere, do whatever you want. Uh, we can uh, take uh, units or whatever and just put our rocks, we really don't have much map making at this time, we're going to be doing decorations later. Uh, so we just put that out there and you're all set. Um, and then we uh, would re rename this uh, level underscore two. And uh, there we have it. You don't need to order it like that, I just did. Uh, and then we go into level select now, and uh, we go over here and go into GUI level select 2, and we just space it out to make it look nice. Unfortunately, I forgot to change the sprite. I'm going to do that now. Um, make sure to change the, spri uh, the sprite so it looks right. So now, uh, so that's how you duplicate it, and template is always a good idea. I have a template for pretty much all the games I'm doing. Um, for the platform one I'm working on, uh, that one... Uh okay, let's see... I'm having a problem with a skill, I believe, the healing skill. Um, where the hell is it? Or was it ship worker? I'm sorry, please bear with me for a second. I'm going to go look at the error again. Oh, this is actually a good lesson. This is how you read an error report. Fatal error in action number one of step event for object ship worker. That means the problem is in object ship underscore worker if the step event. And we'll even tell you where the error is. Error in code at line 21. And then there's a caret pointed at where it is. And I see what it is. Uh, life plus equals ship underscore hero dot level. Unfortunately, I think I named an object sprite or room level and now everything screwed up. So if I actually go into that ship underscore worker step step line 21 there'll be a red thing here and then it was like position 12 or something like that or 24. Uh, if you hit full screen right here you can see I'm at position 23 now I'm at position 24 so it's definitely at the L and when the L that means it's the start of the word so the whole word is a problem and here we have right here under sprite we have level so I need to name this level one and that'll actually fix uh, the problem so that's how I actually uh, read uh, level uh, error messages um, I get a lot of error messages uh, you can figure out by yourself it's not too difficult um, here we go so when we hit play uh, we can select a stage uh, stage one will take us in here, and uh, here we're magical and stuff. We, we can do the heal thing, I guess. That's cool. Uh, then we can go over here and we can quit, and we can go to play and stage two. We'll go through that thing. We have this. It's a room, whatever, and uh, we have our other stage. Uh, and uh, you can go to play, and since it's the same button, quit. We can go to that. Um, one button you may want to make is menu, which is just like the other buttons. It says go to room uh, or a back button. If your stage selects, you can go back to there. That might be a good idea. I would probably do that. I'm not going to actually show you how to do the code. It is good if you can work it out yourself to know what the code means. Now, part two of this, uh, which I mentioned, is going to be uh, win conditions. Uh, we're going to make a uh, mock campaign mission where you have to kill everyone and when you do that it'll bring you to the level select screen and now level two will be unlocked so level two will be locked until uh, you beat campaign mission one and under the win condition uh, it, it will bring you to uh, level two and we'll do all the objects like that so it uh, 
that's what we're going to be doing next time. Once again, if there's any requests, please ask. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please rate. Please comment. Once again, request, request, request. I'm not going to do it if you don't ask for it. And once again, thanks for watching.